As you can see, I have already added text here. Now add the paper texture to the timeline. You can download every texture that I used in this video from my description. Okay, so now press S for scale and change the value to 60. So I want the texture to come from right to left. To do that, press P for position and decrease the value. Now duplicate it and place it slightly on the right side. Duplicate again and do the same. Select all the layers, go six frames forward, and press Ctrl plus Shift plus D to cut. Now select all the layers, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, click on the Sequence layer, and hit OK. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose, and name it Paper. To loop this texture across the composition, press Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Go back one frame from the last keyframe and add a keyframe. Delete the last keyframe, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch. Click on this arrow, go to Property, and click on this expression. Now it will loop. Now place it under the text layer. Add Invert, duplicate it, and place it above the text layer. Rename it to Map. Select the text layer, Toggle Modes, change the track mat to the first layer, and select Luma Mat. To bring back the details, add curves to the mat layer and copy my curve. Now we have to animate the text. So open up the text layer, click on this arrow, click on position, click on this arrow, go to selector, and click on wiggly. Open this range selector, open advance, and change this to index. Now open the wiggle selector, set wiggle per second to zero, and set correlation to zero. Change the position values to 1 and 50. Now hold Alt and click on this stopwatch, type Posterize Time, select this expression, and set the value to 3. Press Enter, type Random, select this expression, and set the value to 500. Now we have to interact this text with the paper. So add Displacement Map. First, we have to make the Displacement Map layer. To do that, duplicate this paper layer, rename it to Map, and disable it. Select the text layer, set the map layer to map, change the source to effect and mask, and change the horizontal and vertical displacement to 40. To get rid of this noise texture, add curves to the map layer, and follow my curve. To roughen up these edges, add roughen edges. Set the border to 4, set the sharpness to 10, set the scale to 40, and set the complexity to 10. Hold Alt and click on this stopwatch, type Posterize Time and choose this expression. Set the value to 6, press Enter and type Time Star 100. Now, as per time, the edges will animate. Duplicate the paper layer, place it above and change the blending mode to Multiply. Duplicate it again and rename it to Highlight. Add Extract and change the blending mode to Screen. Drag this to the right so we only get the highlighted areas. Drag it all the way right and set the black softness to 18. So this feels more realistic in my opinion. Now add the paper textures and press Alt plus Ctrl plus Shift plus H to fit the comp size. Go six frames forward, cut it and delete it. Select the layers, right click on them, go to Keyframe Assistant and click on the sequence layer. Pre-compose it and name it Texture. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Go back one frame from the last keyframe, add keyframe, delete the last keyframe, hold Alt, and click on this stopwatch, click on this arrow, go to Property, and click on this expression. Now change the blending mode to Lightness. Duplicate the texture, change the blending mode to Multiply, and add Invert. Press R and set the value to 180 for a different look. Now add the frame, Select the matte layer and select Luma Matte. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus H to fit the comp and adjust it. Change the blending mode to Multiply. Now add an adjustment layer for the camera shake. Add the transform effect. Set the scale to 101. Hold Alt and click on Position. Type Posterize Time. Select this expression and set the value to 6. Press Enter and type wiggle and select this expression and set the value to 222 comma 2. Now add another adjustment layer for flicker, add exposure and change the value to minus 0 
Hold Alt and click on this stopwatch, type posterize time, select this expression, and set the value to 6. Press Enter, and type wiggle, and select this expression, and set the value to 30,0.01. Now add Add Grain, Change Preview to Final Output, and I'm going to choose this preset. Open Color and enable Monochromatic. Add Brightness and Contrast. Set the brightness to 4 and the contrast to 10. So, if you want a different look, add Invert. To get rid of this, change the blending mode to Color Burn. And there you go.